hi guys welcome back to my channel good morning i am so devastated right now because i just broke my camera about 30 minutes ago it's only 10 30 so you guys see what type of morning i'm having but i had a lot of good things planned today so i'm gonna try to keep the energy up the first thing on my to-do list is to get my car service so i just put up here and then i have to go back home figure out what i'm gonna wear and then i'm going to the shooting range and then i'm going to dinner with um my best friend so it's gonna be an exciting day i'm trying to get over the fact that i broke my camera because the warranty is gonna fix for fix it but it was just so depressing like i almost didn't make it to my service appointment for my car because i was just so sad that my camera broke but let me go in here and check in so they can start servicing my car and i'm gonna talk to y'all once i do that so they had to keep my car but i'm in the dealership um i had a recall on my car so i just had to um leave it here but i wanted to look at some of these cars because they are so nice let's see i want to get a new car just don't know which one i want to get this is cute two doors too small for me this one is nice too i think this is the one that i actually want i love the double screen so cute that's <sighs> some cute cars here all the doors are locked but looking at inside i need something bigger that's why i'm looking towards the truck but I don't know. Like, I love this inside. It's so nice. So, anyways, I had a recall on my car. So, they had to take my car. They're about to Uber me back home. It's freezing out here. Don't know how long this Uber is going to take. But, I'm really sad about my camera, y'all. Because I don't like the camera on my phone. Like not even a little bit. I don't know. I'm breaking out. I'm stressed out right now. Don't mind my face. Let me take this off. But um, yeah. So I just dropped my car off. So now I gotta go home. I could chill for a little bit. Um, try to forget this camera situation, this warranty situation. Get that done, and then just chill i'm not going to i look like a grease monkey y'all i look so crazy i'm not going to the shooting range until two o'clock so i have some time to chill i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna wear then i'm gonna get dropped off to alicia and we're going to the gun range this is my first time ever going to the gun range, y'all. Ever. But I think it's noisy out here, so I'ma um, talk to y'all when I get to my house. Outfit, little Brandon Blackwood. Shoes to match. Of course, glasses. Okay, so I'm about to get dropped off at Alicia's house. I will see y'all when I get there. So, I just got to Alicia's house. Um, is she in the car? I just got to Alicia's house. Um, it's really windy outside. Oh no, she's not in the car. It's really windy outside now. It's freezing, but we're about to go see if we can get into the shooting range. I hope we can. Um, and then we have dinner reservations at 545. And it's like 2.30. I'm late. I was supposed to be here by 2 o'clock. But, you know, stuff happens. But I'm waiting for her to come outside so she doesn't want to open the door for me. I'm with Alicia now. We are about to go to the gun range. There she is. Right here. We're about to go see. Hopefully, it's not a long wait. I really... I want to do this, y'all. 
I've been saying I need to go to the shooting range and never went. And we just decided, like, let's go. So, hopefully it's not a long way. Hopefully we can get in and still make our dinner reservations because I came to Alicia late. Uh, it's my fault. So sorry. I came, like, 30 minutes late. But then got the shooting range is only like 10 minutes from her house if that so we're about to go and see if we can be serviced reservations at 545 like i said so we have to try to get there get done and get to our dinner reservation at 545 because if we miss it they're charging us 25 dollars per person we're not missing that but um are finished and those guns like guns have a lot of like power like them motherfuckers was kicking back like my hand was shaking it, i have to get used to it but i'm about to keep coming now that i came one time i know i'm gonna be addicted so i'm going to rate it a i think i'll give it a um, that's what I'm saying. A eight, yeah. Like a a eight. Key. I don't know. It just gives me anxiety that, like, bitch, like, <laughs> bitch, like, you can kill somebody, bitch, like. And that's it. Like, like when you shoot it, it moves. And, like, like you have fire, to hold it. The, the like the shells. The shells kept falling in my shirt. <laughs> The shells kept going in no, my shirt. The man next to us, his shells kept falling on us. Like, sir, you need to move. Right. No, but it was fun. It was like a stress reliever. It was really fun. I'm going to come back and I'm going to get better because I'm getting me a gun. Yo. I'm getting me a gun. But no, this was really cool. This was fun. We finished a whole hour early. We pushed our dinner reservations back because we knew we wasn't gonna make it because oh i didn't even tell y'all so this is our second gun range because the first one we went to we walked in and they said we smelled like weed we not smoking we don't smoke don't we smoke not do, and they said we smell like weed so they would not let us shoot so we had to find another one. We drove there with the windows down because her car smells like weed, but it was literally no smoking going on. So we found another one. We went in, they let us do our thing. We was trying not to get too close to the man because we were scared. We was gonna smell like weed still, but it was cool. We shot, we did what we did. I need to show y'all my target, but it was really fun. And we used a big ass gun. I'm gonna enter the clips so y'all can see okay because for the first time i did my thing i was almost but it's okay we use the glock we use the glock this is one the first one and then we use this big boy right here the scorpion it's so fun but we're about to just sit around. We still got an hour before dinner. So we're about to just chill for a little bit and then start heading there. It's only 15 minutes away from here. So I'll see y'all when we get to the restaurant. Hey, 
never ate no shit like this before. Yeah. Should've asked what kind of rice. <laughs> Brown <lemon. laughs> No. <laughs> okay, so I just got home from my beautiful day that I had with makeup off my face. Bathe and go to bed. I mean, <clears throat> go to bed. Um, today was fun. Today was really fun. Um, the first, um, Gum Rage was tripping on us. They were saying that we smell like marijuana and all this stuff, so they wouldn't let us run it on. So, we ended up finding this other one. It was cool. I liked that one. It was cool. Y'all was shooting a gun. Ain't no joke. Ain't no joke. It's no joke for real. Like, it's crazy. But it's fun. Like, it's really fun. It's like a stress relief. I would recommend going to the shooting range for sure. It's like a stress reliever. Um, and you'll have fun. And it's not expensive. It's not expensive. It's very reasonable. Um, now, the restaurant. We went to Alta Adams. And uh, the food wasn't all that good. It wasn't good at all, actually. And I'm not full, but I'm going to just thug it out and go to bed probably probably eat a little snack or something but it was just like i don't know we had oxtails and rice yams mac and cheese fried chicken and we had tried the deviled eggs it was just not giving i was so sad i was so sad that that's what it tastes like but they get what you get. Yeah, they have good customer service though, so that's good. But honestly, I don't know. But in all, today was a good day. I gotta go pick up my car in the morning. So up my car. I don't really have nothing else to do tomorrow. Tell y'all about my day. Tell y'all, you know, about what y'all seen and stuff like that. Now that I'm home and it's over. But yeah, it was just good. I was able to hang out with my friend. That's always a good time. So, can't complain. I'm going to do it.